dear children now we are going to do in this video the book exercises for chapter number 7 internet services first one is exercise a is a fill in the blanks exercise question number 1 a network is a group of two or more computer systems linked together to form a global network okay <clears throat> number 2 a chat text based communication between two chat is a text based communication between one or more users number 3 modem stands for modulator demodulator number 4 an email is considered as most common way of communication at workplace number 5 net etiquette Netiquette can be defined as a set of rules that govern uh, the acceptable the online behavior of the user. That governs. Sorry, children. That's a spelling mistake here. It is not government. That governs. Okay. That govern the acceptable online. behavior of the user then fill exercise b true or false internet does not support video calling false number 2 a dsl uses three wire copper telephone line false it uses two wire a uh, copper telephone line PC card modem is like the combination of external and internal modems true the first online chat system was called tokamatic true always use bcc message while sending message to multiple user true then multiple choice questions number 1 what does isp stand for isp stands for internet service provider number 2 google hangout Uh, is a free chat service software number 3 a strong dash consists of at least 8 characters that are combinations of a uh, combination of letters in both upper case and lower case and special symbols this is password when we are creating a password we should use all these combinations to make the pa uh, password very strong so that no one can find uh, or try to uh, find your password and misuse your documents so you need to make the password very strong number 4 name the device that connects a computer with the telephone line modem number 5 which among the following is used to attach all kinds of devices to the computer usb universal serial bus Okay, that's the full form of USB. Then the next one is the next topic is write the answer the following questions. This is question number three in your given in your book uh, for exercise E. we we'll write a short note on video conferencing video conferencing is a communication mainly used for virtual meetings that involves exchanging of video and audio at the same time between people sitting at geographically different locations skype adobe adobe connect o yuma ikiga etc or some video conferencing applications number 4 question number 4 is explain any two types of internet connections the different types of internet connections are there are many internet type of uh, types of uh, uh, internet connections number 1 is wireless connection it uses radio frequency to connect to the internet and offers great speed it can be accessed from any location that comes under the network coverage area it requires a wifi modem to be connected to your computer then cable tv connection this type of connection is provided through cable tv lines it uses a cable modem which provides extremely
fast access to the internet then what is internet internet stands for international network which is a global wide area network that connects computer systems globally now question number 5 what is modem name its types modem stands for modulator demodulator and it's a device which allows the computer to send or receive information through telephone lines by converting digital data into analog signal used on telephone lines internal modem external modem and pc card modem are its types now here are some extra questions which you need to learn write a short note on chatting or chat chat also known as online chat or internet chat is a text based communication between one or more users in which messages are exchanged back and forth in real time through a chat software then email email stands for electronic email it provides a facility to compose and attach files for high speed delivery anywhere in the world then what is in network what is network a network is a group of two or more computer systems linked together to form a global network children that's all for this unit 3 you learn chapter number 5 and 7 up till this these topics uh, and write them well in your copy learn it well and read the chapter as many number of times as possible that's all for today children take care